Good evening, friends. Good evening, humans. Are you satisfied with your life? Do you have enough? Are you rich enough for the opinions of your neighbors and are you rich enough for your own opinion? Are you healthy enough? Are you healthy by opinions of some fake doctors or are you healthy by your own opinion? Do you see how all is related with the word of addictions? Our existence is based on addictive, addictive behavior of our co-humans, our co-workers, our co-family members, and we even treating ourselves as a worse addict who doesn't know how to quit, or at least who pretends doesn't know how to quit. They would rather suffer, let's call it downfall after heavy drug abuse or heavy alcohol drinking overnight and then in the morning they will not really know who they, who they really are. So when these people are asked why they're doing it, they just wanna what? dumb down their feeling of fear, their feeling of embarrassment, their feeling of guilt, their feeling of not being worthy, not being worthy even of life itself. So how to talk with an addict telling him that really it is not good for them to be an addict? And I'm not talking bad about drugs, alcohol, cigarettes, uh, fear, uh, control, and all the other aspects. I'm talking about why we come to the point that we search for these kind of items to save ourselves for, well, a couple of hours, a couple of days, if you're on heavy medications, a couple of months until you drop dead or until the medications kill you, or if you decide to kill yourself because you found that you are not worthy living. By doing this, who's insulted the most? God. You're insulting God for the gift that it gave you. They're having a slow motion suicide drills smokers, drug abusers, and even the other ones who we think that they are so important, like doctors, professional lawyers, uh, professional politicians, and so on. Professional tennis players, professional anything, professional scientists, professional religious speakers, and teachers, and preachers. They want you to be addicted on your own misery, that you cannot find your own solutions. So all is based on you being subjugated even more. So is there a way out of the addictions? Absolutely. Yet title for today is related with this. It goes like this. Addictions is no perspective in life. Maybe another one. The addictions are no perspective for life. So, people talking about, do I have a right to kill my baby even before he's born because he's not alive or it will be bothersome for me and my wife or my, whatever, my husband or by myself if you're getting pregnant, so get rid of it before it comes out. Are you addicted to something? You are. You are addicted to killing other beings. When you're gay, lesbian, whatever, LGBTQ, R, W, S, Z, P, crap that 
you're putting in front of your so kind, kind of title, you're presenting yourself as, as the freedom fighters for free to do whatever we want. Sure. What they are addicted to? Defiance of God. And you think you can go more? You can go for a long time? Wait and see. Or start changing. Start accepting that there is a better perspective than this. There is really perspective which treats life with absolute dignity. Your own life, not mine, not anybody else's. I don't even want to bring a, a God into conversation because God is something that He gives us what He gives us. And what we do with this, it's our own choice. And it's our own responsibility. Yet, we're not here to do whatever we want. Disrespecting God's creation and disrespecting the gift of life in itself by being addicted to all the other crap that we found around. I mean, Sodom and Gomorrah is not last 20 years, it's last four, five, six, seven, ten thousand 10,000 years. So, the tricks they've been played on you were so sophisticated. They go in, in very invisible realm where you cannot even comprehend how you have been controlled. From all directions, from any possible imaginary direction. And the only thing you can go to get out of any of the addictions is to go within. And only there you'll find a true intrinsic and, and organic and natural connection with Prime Creator. Only there. All the other outside forces, outside churches, outside teachings are tricks, are deception of the evil, dark side that will rather bring you into addiction and make you suffer time after time, life after life, not even allowing you to think straight for a millisecond. Because if you start thinking straight, you will say, I don't want to be gay because I have a penis. I want to be one who loves women, for example. Because this is what God's gift to me. You've been born into, let's say, 50s black uh, society of black family with very poor and slave inhabitants from your past. What is the gift to you in this life? To get subjugated even more, to teach your children not to raise your voice, not to be equal to all the other whites, black, yellow, whatever colors of the, the, the species they are walking around. Your right, your God's right is to say what you are. And this is what you're given by God. So, you get pregnant, you're female. Do you have a right to kill this baby? Or are you considering yourself, why did you get pregnant? Could you think this through before? Or you just get carried away with your addictive so-called, you know, what's worse on of the sexuality? Like lust for just to do the things at the moment where we want, knowing that you down the road, a couple of months down the road, when you get pregnant, you have to hurt another being just because you've been living in lust. Okay, so what we do with this? These are all addictions. I'm not talking about alcohol, cigarettes, drugs, medications, whatever. Power, being a politician. This will be clean in a second. These kind of creatures. 
because you'll not be able to buy cigarettes. You'll not be able to uh, use drugs because CIA will not import them and produce them and make uh, profits on this. So, what you do then? I'm talking about true, deep down disconnect that we have with the prime creator. This is our worst addiction. And it was practiced through every single stupid religion. Every single one. So you're telling me, so what, we addicted, they will be half dead until we die, and then what? No, you'll continue. Your next life, if you manage to get it, one, it'll be much worse. Because they, they fine-tuning you into completely being obedient to their behavior, to their needs, and they need your suffering. When you're addicted, you suffer. When you abuse her to somebody else, you suffer. Of course, the ones who we are killing and abusing and, uh, and having babies without really even thinking about, it, you are suffering too. Not only the one that is a victim in, in your case. So what, what to do? Where to go from this so nasty, dark down, addictive world? It is not. Not for me. Not for Denise. Not for Ron. Not for many, many beautiful, beautiful people and beings who are here to show you there is no other way but to recognize what you're addicted and how to consciously decide to choose not to be part of it anymore because this is the, the game of the dark this is a devil's game to teach you so-called teach you to get whatever you want at the right perfect moment of now so live in the now take as much as you can is this really what you want? So, if you really live like this, and if you consider that this is no other way but this, you absolutely with no perspective for life, and you don't have respect to life. And you don't have a single gram of respect to a gift that it was given to you. Your self-mutilating creature of non-human characteristics. Get over it. Make a choice. Not to, to teach anybody else about not being addicted, how... No, to help yourself. To find a true connection with a prime creator. It maybe you don't want to. But this is not true. Maybe you can pretend you don't care about it. You'll just kill as many babies as possible. You'll just sleep with whoever you want. You will abuse all kinds of substances. And you'll say, I don't care. I want to live now. But deep down, because you're created by Prime Creator. You're not some freak robot who just wanders around. You're created for this purpose, to discover, to rediscover this connection that it was attempted to be severed by the dark entities. Whatever you want to call it. Evil, Satan, dark cabal, you know, crapsters, banksters, politicians, doctors. To me, this is all, sorry, lawyers, advocates, legal, all beautiful so-called legal team of the Satan. All these creatures will learn absolutely such a powerful lesson. First of all, they will not be able to steal from anybody else. And their stealing habits will be redirected only towards themselves. So when they want to steal from somebody else, they will hurt themselves much more. And they think, okay, I want, I need, I need some 
Okay, I need a baby to sacrifice to eat, to drink their blood. So what to do with yourself? Besides to recognize maybe where you sit. Do you sit in the classroom of addicted controllers or addicted drug abusers or addicted better than others or addicted alcoholics or addicted you know religious freaks start depicting yourself start digging down deep inside your soul finding out what are you addicted to and by this you will start raising your purpose in life you will start finding a ways to reconnect with the prime creator because there's no other path I tell you I tell you many many times there is only one path go within and find your source find your prime creator source it's there it's waiting for you to be uncovered to be discovered by you to be recognized as the only worthy thing living for not the next drink not the next you know lay job or whatever you were thinking that you will do next and it will bring you to a minuscule high immediate instant high which follows with tremendous crushing down and your body your spirit will not be able to sustain this anymore because this roller coaster of immediate gratifications gratifications of being high on drugs on power on material wealth on I don't know, controlling others is absolutely becoming useless for you to finding this solution so where is the solution how you can start appreciating your life more than you did yesterday start recognizing your addictions one after another after another and when you recognize them they become start shriveling start drying out and by recognizing what you are sick from then you can ask prime creator to give you a hand and you know where you can get it creationlightship.com ask ron amtron he's there for you